This is a video by Richmond. Today we have a 2003 Dodge Dakota with 130,000 miles in the garage. And what we're going to be doing is a tune-up. Now the first thing we want to do is make sure the engine is cold before we start our tune-up. And once we have the cold engine, we need to take off the top of the air box, the boot, and the cover here to the throttle body. There are four clips over here on the side and you'll just pry those off. And then over here on the back we have a fresh air hose we have to push off. There's no clamps involved there. And then we have this plastic coated nut. We need to remove that from the cover. And once that's removed, we can just lift it off and remove the whole assembly. Now, in this case right here, we got a air box full of uh, leaves and everything else. And what we're going to do is just to gain a little more space and clean out that box, we're going to take the box out. There is a 10 millimeter headed nut right over here on the side. Take that off. And then you got these uh, little push pins that are down here. Well, they're not push pins. They're, I don't know what, you, what you'd call them, but you just pull them right off of there. And uh, get that box out of the way. Now, on this engine, the, it has a distributor. And, it's, of course, it's way back there. So normally, we would take one wire off at a time. But what we're going to do on this one is we're going to label our wires, take the wires off, the plugs, take the cap off, take the wires with the cap, put it on the bench, transfer them over, and then put it back that way. Now, on the spark plug wires right here, what you want to do Give them about a 90 degree twist and then try to pull it out. What that twist will do is it will break the um, stiction that the uh, wires has on the plugs and it will come out a little easier for you. Now when you uh, get those spark plug wires off there, the ones on this left bank here were a little bit tight so what I did is took the wire off the distributor cap and that enabled me to twist it because you need to twist it before you can pull it off and then I put the wire back on. So we got all the wires off the plugs. Now the cap is bolted to the distributor by two seven millimeter headed bolts. Uh, one of them was uh, a little tight, we didn't want to break it off, so we used some penetrating oil on it and a quarter inch ratchet with about a three inch extension. So we get those all loose. So now, now if you uh, can't remember where these wires went, make a diagram, take a picture. There's that bank. And let's get these wires up. There are little looms that secure them in place. So you need to get those out of there. Oh, one thing, don't just do what I just did and leave the coil wire on. Take that off before you try to get your distributor out. It would make it a little easier. <laughs> okay. Let's get that cap out, get those wires. There we go. Hmm. 
Now once you get the cap out of the way, you can just reach back there and just lift up on the rotor. It just slides right off the shaft and you can see that it's keyed on. Now what I did is set the new cap on the floor. Started with the shortest wire, matched it up to the shortest wire on the old one, put that on the cap, went from short to long, double checked them, made sure that the numbers on the old one corresponded to the numbers that I put on the new one, and you can't go wrong. Now we can put it in after we put our spot plugs in. All right, we got our plugs out, and boy, it was a struggle. Uh, this vehicle, it's got about 136,000 miles on it. Look at that plug. Look at that gap on there. It was rusted in. I was afraid I weren't going to get them out. And there's a new one. All gapped at 40,000. You want to put the anti-seize on there. Now, what we'll do is, this works out pretty well. Take a small piece of 3 8 ID fuel hose. Stick that on the plug like that. And what's great about that is you won't cross the threads. There we go. Now all we have to do is tighten her down. All right, plugs are all in. Now it's time to put our cap and wires in. Feed them underneath this loom here. And of course, they're going to catch on everything around it. This loom, now of course the cap can go only on one way, make sure you got your rotor in place. Now, those screws down there that hold the cap, you want to start them by hand. And get them down as far as you can. And then tighten them with a wrench. Now before you put your coil wire on, double check the coil tower. This one right here was uh, very corroded, so I took a scotch bright and cleaned it up so it was nice and shiny, just like that. Now before you're done, make sure that you take that coil wire. <laughs> You know the one that I forgot to take off when I took the cap and wires off? Make sure you put that baby back on. That's it. We got our plugs in, our wires, our cap. Now we can put the air cleaner back on. And that's it. We've just done a tune-up on our Dodge Dakota.